So there it is, my new project. If anybody has been following me a little bit, you may have seen the video where I was thinking I was going to sell this. I got a few bites on it, but I don't know. I just couldn't. So now that the expedition is complete and I need something to do, I figure what the hell, this thing's sitting here staring me in the face. It is a 1978.5 Harley Davidson FX or a Super Glide. FX being kick only. If it was an FXE, it would have a starter right here, but it doesn't. So I've already done some work on it. Um, it was quite a few years ago, I started by replacing the prior, the secondary drive because it was all original with close to 80,000 miles on it. There were hardly any teeth left. Um, so that's been done. Uh, as you can see, I've got a belt drive primary on it. I want a dry primary. But that's where my trouble started. Um, this bike has for the last <laughs> at least half if not longer of its life, I mean it's 40 years old this year, I had a tendency to drain the oil tank into the primary. And I thought, all right, maybe it's just a bad seal on the engine, on the crank. So I changed that. The crank's kind of grooved. Um, so I got this, I started it up, ran good, clutch worked nice for a dry clutch. It was an excellent feel. Um, but then I let it sit, and damn it if it didn't start filling the primary case up with oil again. And that can't happen anymore because it'll ruin the clutch, it'll ruin the, ruin the belt. So that's when I kind of got disgusted with it. I had just started rewiring the handlebars when I noticed that was happening. I just kind of kind of lost interest because that's a big deal. If I can't get this to work, it's not worth putting the bike back together because it, it just, you can't keep oil in it. And it's ridiculous. I mean, every time I'd want to drive it, I'd have to, you know, I'd have a catch pan under the damn thing and have to take the four quarts of oil from the engine and throw it back into the tank. I can ride it and then take the primary cover off and let it drain again which is kind of ridiculous. There has to be a way. Now, I've done a little reading on the oil pump and it seems that there may be some lines that go somewhere in here to lubricate the primary uh, and then suck it back up. I, I don't see them. I don't see any lines behind that. I don't remember any when I took it apart to put the new uh, secondary chain on. But I'm gonna bust all that off to start with and then we're gonna see basically um, where the oil's coming from I'm gonna take that completely apart if I find any lines going from the oil pump I'm gonna plug all those up and we'll start there but I don't think I'm gonna find that and what I do think I'm gonna find is that I think it's draining through the engine um, so if this, you know, I'm going to get that primary drive out of there just so it doesn't get ruined. And then once I do that, I should be able to, you know, I'll, I'll be able to even pull the whole sec, whole primary inner cover off. Um, and I'll fill the oil tank up or put a couple of quarts in it or even hell one quart because it's bone dry. I'll put a quart of oil in it and just let it leak and we will see where it's coming from and that will tell me the extent of the repairs I need to make. Um, my goal is to get it running again and then to determine exactly what I want to do with this thing as far as total restoration or just get it running good enough to actually sell it then uh, or what. I got a bunch of rebuild stuff for the brakes and the forks and uh, little electronics and wires and stuff like that that were starting to get crummy. Um, so we'll go from there, but you know, it's good. I'm gonna make it rideable and then I'm gonna determine how far I want to go But this is my next project